facts to know. Once upon a time, there was a wise old Zen master. One day, a young monk approached the Zen master and asked, Master, what is the greatest value in my life? The Zen master replied, Go to the back garden, pick up a large stone, and take it to the market to sell. If someone asks for the price, don't speak, just show two fingers. If they bargain with you, don't sell it, bring it back, and I'll tell you the greatest value in your life. The next morning, the young monk took the stone to the market. A housewife came by and asked, How much is the stone? The monk showed two fingers, and the housewife said, Two dollars? The monk shook his head, and the housewife said, Twenty dollars? All right, I'll use it to press pickled vegetables. The young monk thought, Someone is willing to pay twenty dollars for a worthless stone. There are so many stones in our mountain. The young monk didn't sell the stone, and happily went back to the master. Then he said, Master, a housewife was willing to pay twenty dollars for my stone. Can you tell me the greatest value in my life now? The Zen master said, Take the stone to the museum tomorrow. If someone asks the price, show two fingers again. If they bargain, don't sell it, bring it back, and we'll talk. The next morning at the museum, a crowd gathered wondering about the stone's value. One person offered $2,000 for the stone, saying they would use it to carve a statue. The young monk was astonished, but followed the master's instruction to bring the stone back. Then he said, Master, someone offered $2,000 for the stone today. Can you tell me the greatest value in my life now? The Zen master laughed and said, Take the stone to an antique shop tomorrow. And if someone bargains, bring it back. I'll tell you your life's greatest value. The next day, at the antique shop, people were curious about the stone. One person offered $20,000. The monk was shocked. And the person increased the offer to $200,000. The young monk took the stone back to the master, excited about their potential fortune. Then he said, Master, today someone offered $200,000 for our stone. Can you tell me the greatest value in my life now? The Zen master lovingly said, My child, your life's value is like this stone. If you place yourself in a vegetable market, you're worth $20. If you place yourself in a museum, you're worth $2,000. If you place yourself in an antique shop, you're worth $200,000. Different platforms and positions bring different values to your life. Life is full of possibilities, and we all have the power to shape our own journey. Like the young monk and his stone, we must remember that our worth is not set in stone, but can change depending on where we stand, and the choices we make. Sometimes we get stuck in places, that don't truly value our potential. It's important to step back and ask ourselves, if we are in the right place surrounded by the right people. Are we allowing ourselves to shine? Or are we hidden in the shadows of self-doubt and fear? We each hold a unique gift, a talent or a passion that deserves to be nurtured, and shared with the world. But to truly find our worth, we must first believe in ourselves. We can't expect others to see our value, if we don't recognize the true value of our hearts and souls. So take a moment to reflect on your life. Where are you now, and where do you want to be? Are you taking steps towards your dreams, or are you holding back due to fear or uncertainty? Remember, it's never too late to make a change and pursue your true calling, for when you believe in your own worth, and follow your heart the world becomes a canvas for your dreams. Your life is a precious gift, and your worth is not determined by others, but by your own actions and the choices you make. Choose wisely, believe in yourself, and your life will become a beautiful masterpiece. Thanks for watching the video. For more update to my new videos, press the bell icon. And please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe, to support my channel. Thank you.